This is the final presentation for Harvard CSCIE Cloud Computing. Uh, I'm doing AWS Code Deploy. My name is James Byers. Um, <clears throat> features and analysis of the Code Deploy service. Uh, use cases, uh, it's a simple, it provides simple automated code deployments. Uh, you're able to automatically deploy application packages to instances of Windows, Red Hat, and Amazon Linux. Applications that must maintain a high la level of availability. Um, so code deploy monitors the health of instances during the deployment cycle. Uh, and code needs to be deployed to specific groups of instances. So if you have clusters of dev, test, and prod, you can specifically target those groups. Uh, benefits of the code deploy service. It helps minimize application downtime during deployments, like I was talking about through health monitoring. Uh, it maintains a history of deployments and gives you the ability to roll back to previous versions. Also, deployments can be configured to deploy to one or more server instances. Uh, you're able to execute custom scripts at prescribed steps in the deployment lifecycle. And deployments can be run on machines that are, uh, or instances running in the EC2 service or on-premise. And the code deploy service is free. Uh, drawbacks and challenges to the code deploy service. If you're running on EC2, it must be launched with the proper IAM, IAM role. Uh, only Red Hat, Amazon Linux, and Windows instances are supported at this time. Uh, and you can only deploy instances in your current region. So if you have instances running in other regions, you would have to configure the code deploy service in those regions. Uh, and the code deploy agent must be installed on each instance. And that's just kind of a gotcha. Thank you for listening.